Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. In this video, let's take a look at another well-known symbol, which is symbol to primitive. Okay, let's open a console and begin. So, uh, before we jump, before we uh, see the example with to primitive, let's recall two special methods on project, um, on object. That is uh, to string and the value of, right? Okay, let's create an object one with both of them uh, defined. Which is to string return object one and also value of return one hmm? invalid unexpected token. Oh, oh, I made a mistake. Let's reload it. Yeah. And then let's define another project uh, object object two with only to string define. And then we define another one with object three with only value of define. Ooh, and I should say the object. Okay, it's it's no problem. Object three. Okay, now. Uh, we all know that JavaScript had has this confusing type implicit type coercion, right? When a number is expected, it will try to convert the data into number. If it is string required, then it try to converge to the string primitive. Let's see what happens on these three objects. The first case is that let's use a string template, template literal, and the, which means that uh, object one, which means a string is required, uh, expected, then it tries to convert the object one to string. Right, it's object one because to string is defined, so pre to string is first used. Okay, let's see what happens to object two. Of course, the string two to string is used, so object one. Let's see what the object three is used. Well, it's an object object, that's because object three actually it has to string it inherit these uh, prototype methods from object so let's create an this is not the true case so let's define object uh, for we use object and create null yeah and then we define the value of plus one yeah Let's test on object four. Obviously, not obviously, you see that we give us the one. So JavaScript actually what takes uh, these two methods uh, both into consideration. When a string is expected, it will first check if the string is there. And then if it is not there, you will check if value of is there, if value of is this this one. So it will, it will use this value one and convert this one into string. So finally, we get one here. Let's see if object two has the uh, value of. You see, object also have the value of here, right? Yeah. Anyway, this is for string. Let's for take a look at the case of number, which is commonly seen by just uh, adding two numbers up. So that's plus one plus the object one is two because object one has the value of. And then, okay, yeah. And then, oh, actually, this is not means that number is, is number is, uh, number is uh, uh, expected because string also has this uh, plus sign. So let's change it to this object one, make it more clearer. Now, it's number required, so we return one. That's plus number object two. We got not a number because object two actually has the value of which is the method from the, uh, this is actually, yeah, it's itself actually the value of. This method is from this prototype. Still, we create another object, const object four, five, object create null, object five, uh, which means to string, we change it to two. 
Okay, now let's plus object 5. It, it doesn't have the a value of, so as a fallback, it will be using the to string here. So to string is a 2, so the 2 will be ch changed to 2. What if we have an object like 6 and object 6 to string? It returns something that number, like not something like this. Oh, I'm sorry. I need to have something like this. Mm -hmm. Ah, shit. Yeah, that's plus object 6. You see, we can we get an error now. It's not not a number, but it's an error here. Anyway, it means that uh, when string is required, we first take the string, and then if not, we check the value off. When a number is required, then we first check the value off, and then if it is not there, we check the to string off, to string, right? So here's the this kind of confusing and difficult to understand. Here, so we have this symbol to primitive, which helps solve the problem. Let's define the uh, const object seven. It has a method called a symbol to primitive. It actually accepts a parameter called a hint. If hint is string, it means when hint when string is required, return object seven. Otherwise, for the numbers or anything else, we just return yeah seven. All right. Now let's see what happens on object seven. Object seven. Yeah, because string is required, it gives object seven. If transform into object seven a uh, number, it will get seven because seven is here. So symbol primitive will takes the highest precedence. It means the whole logic will be any lo any logic that uh, is related to implicit. Type correction. First check if primitive is there. If it is, use it. If it is not, then the original, the old school logic with value of and into string is followed. Yeah. So that's symbol to primitive. Actually, I think primitive is better than this to uh, mysterious me uh, legacy methods, right? Okay. Cool. That's all for this one. Hope it helps. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I bring more videos of uh, front end. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye.